Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Hasn't Played Factorio for ages because he started a Kerbal Space Program series. In this episode I'm um, going to be trying to remember what I was doing as usual and so on and so forth. So I put my um, I, I put a, um, a link to my series up on Reddit to see, um, see what sort of feedback I get because I was in interested to see how, uh, how people thought I was doing. And there were a couple of things that came up. One was the um, the rather obvious um, fact that I got Bob's greenhouses and Angel's bioprocessing the wrong way around in my post. Um, but there was a, yes, a general encouragement that I should switch over to using Angel's bioprocessing instead of the Bob's greenhouses because Bob's greenhouses are a bit too easy. You just shove a load of these things in a line and then suddenly wood comes out of the end. Absolutely trivial, as you can see. Um, the other thing was that I've apparently have taken the rather easy route or no the rather basic route rather out of, for taking for creating all this iron here so despite that it's still gone wrong here i should go and have a look at that <laughs> there's some belts clogging up the belt uh, so the the thing about um angels and the all of the advanced smelting and things is that yes whilst you can do uh sapphirite crusher smelter uh sorry furnace uh, to produce iron plates as a starting point. You're supposed to apparently supposed to move off that fairly quickly and move on to other bigger and better ways of doing it, uh, which which I haven't done because I got distracted by all of the other things I was trying to produce. So the first thing I'm going to do today is have a look at my tree system up here uh, and get that switched over to something a bit more a bit more exciting. And then after that, I'm going to have a look at the iron and see what I can do with that. So. First thing I'll do is just I'm just going to pull all of this out. Maybe I'll use up the seedlings that I've already got actually. Um, that's not, or maybe I won't because I've just broken the system there. Um, okay, so in order to get trees from, or rather to get specifically to get wood, if you pardon the expression, I need to have something that's producing trees and saw blades. So saw blades are made from iron. That's fairly easy. I had a quick look, look at that. Um, but there's a 10% chance of them breaking. So basically they'll just go round and round in a circle and every so often one will break and I'll have to stick a new one in. That's not too much of a problem. The tricky part is getting these trees because they come from seeds. They also require sand, which comes from down here conveniently. So happily that's quite close by, which is very useful. Um, but I also need to get the seeds from somewhere and the saline water, which can also probably come from down here. In fact, maybe I should be building all this down down over here. That might, might make more sense. It's a bit further to pipe the uh, wood once it's made, but eh, it's not a problem. So which one? Saline water is the one at the bottom here, at the very end of the process. And sand comes out from one of these. Yes, this one makes sand. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. We'll have to see how this goes. But then it's getting. But the tricky part is getting the seeds. So as I remember, and you need, and there are about nine different. Well, there's nine different ways of producing them. You can do them from desert seeds, swamp tree seeds, and that requires, and these require different types of water as well, just to make things a bit more complicated. Temperate trees, and that requires soil, which I think is made from mud somewhere along the way, or tree seeds. But again, um, all of these require you to have got a des an, a, an appropriate arboretum of the, uh, the uh, an arboretum of the appropriate type, even the. The basic tree seeds, if I can find one of one of those, requires requires a oh no seed yeah seed seed generators. Um, did the other one? Oh, I've lost track. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this is again a little bit complicated. I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna refresh my um, memory on this, and then uh, you can then we'll talk about it a bit more. Right. So this is the point I'm trying to get to. All of the seed generators require specific weird trees in order to get them. Now I've been picking up a few of these in my travels around the um, around the world. Do I have any? No, I don't have any on me at the moment. I've probably put them all in my big box of doom over here somewhere. That one. Yeah, so these things. There's two temperate trees there. And that's all. Okay, I thought I'd seen more than that. Um, is there anywhere else I've been dumping stuff and forgetting about it? <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Okay, here's some more random rubbish crates. There's some wood in here. I should probably put that back into circulation since it's the, the thing I'm trying to build up at the moment. There's a car. That's convenient. I'll grab that on the way back up. Okay, I don't see any more junk crates. Oh, no, no, that took it back. There's one. Nothing quite what I'm looking for in there. Okay, well, I've got two to start with, and I sort of know what they look like when I see them on the... when I see them driving around, so I can collect more if I need I can hopefully find some more if I need to I'm going to get it bring the um, construction vehicle over and in fact I'll see if there's any more in that as well because it's the sort of thing I might have just picked up and left in it fish eh 
Desert garden. I don't think I can use a desert garden for this. No, I don't see any trees in here. Okay, never mind. Special trees, not like the ones I just ran over. They're bog standard normal trees that just get turned into wood. They don't. You can't use them to get additional trees, I guess, is basically what I'm saying. Park this up here and let it demolish this wall. Okay, so we'll start off with the basics. That's this one. Turning tree seed and soil and water in an arboretum. But I need to make tree seeds, and it was. I need to research this, which I can't do yet, which I need that for. Hopefully, with my um, rack, of, rack of labs over here, this is all quite easy research, so it should come through pretty quickly. Till then, there's not an enormous amount for me to do, I have to admit. I'll go out here and pick up some um, alien balls Oop, and accidentally get their attention. Uh oh, oh no, that's alright. I thought I was in trouble then. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> yeah, looking at this. I think a lot of the damage that's happening to the walls is happening from the plasma turret. The walls are basically okay with biters attacking, but the splash damage from the plasma turret is um, doing a bit of a number on them. Let's do a spot of repairing, shall we? And yeah, this is recycling as well. The walls can be taken from over here and put back up over here. Or just straight up repaired in some cases. Maybe I should have just pulled this off the other side, actually. Oh well. Come on, research. Chop, chop. <clears throat> this is going to be bioprocessing. Okay, so I need... Stone bricks and steel plates. Come on, how can I be out of stone bricks? Well, they're not far away. So I can make two temperate seed generators, and I've run out of pipes. And let's make two arboretums. I don't know how many I'll need for now, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so what does this... T so I want this to make tree seeds. It needs soil and water. Water is easy enough, just come straight out of here. And I've got pipes coming down carrying water, so I can, I can link off to those, probably. Soil takes mud and compost. Mud is... Viscous mud water, which is this one. Oh, okay, so mud is what's coming out of all of these, and then here I'm turning it back into viscous mud water. So we don't want to do that, except perhaps as an overflow. Put these in like this. No, it needs soil, not. Uh. I'm going to write this down. It's easier to look at if I've got it on paper rather than just in um, in FNEI. Do the chains get a little bit too long and complicated? Okay, that's not too bad. <clears throat> so, soil comes from mud and compost. Mud is the stuff that pours out of here when I get this going. And compost is basically made from composting anything organic. So that's fairly straightforward. So I can make compost from wood. I can make it from algae. is probably quite a good one because that's... As far as I can tell... Oh, I didn't check where that comes from. <laughs> okay, we can use green algae, which just comes from water in a algae farm. So as I did with the petrochem... I'm going to start laying this out, sort of, from one side to the other. So the inputs come in a little bit further down. And then we can always add more of these late, later as necessary if we don't have enough throughput. So I want you to make green algae, nice and straightforward. That just takes water. Okay, I thought I had a composter. Made in a composter. Then. Ah, which I need to have garden processing and farming in order to get. Okay, that's going to put a bit of a hold on that. Maybe I should have been going through and just picking up all of these easy researches. <laughs> oh well. Okay, while that's running, I'm going to have a look at the um, how to make iron in better ways. Well, that took a bit of head-scratching. So, from all of that research, <laughs> um, if I, instead of just directly smelting the crushed sapphire, which got took turns... Um, three crushed sapphire into two iron plates, I can instead sort it, then get the iron ore out, at which point I'll get a relatively small amount out, um, two iron ore out from four from four crushed, crushed sapphire. 24 iron ore can then be turned into 24 ingots, 240 molten iron, and then 24 iron plates. And I'm honestly not sure how many more that is. <laughs> so do um, so that would be 48 sapphire to 24, so it halves it, but I'd also get some copper out as well, whereas doing it directly, hmm, I'm not convinced it's that much better, to be honest. I'll look at it again and went in a bit when I finish with the wood anyway, and see if I can, see if the numbers make any more sense then. So now I should be able to make a composter. There we go, that's the one I wanted. <laughs> Quite steel gear, it's interesting. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get started with this then. Maybe there's a better way to make compost that's easier. But for now, we'll do it the um, modern way. Just going to compost them, presumably. Um, my compost. I also need mud, which is coming in from here. 
I <laughs> don't need that to not be near side of belt. There we go. So now I'm making soil. What do I make soil in? Assembly machine. Okay, that's nice and easy. So mix that with water in a seed generator. I wonder if this will just flow through like it does in a boiler. Be nice. So that's going to make me my seeds. I then need arboretums. These are kind of big. Those will make trees. And then I need to combine those with saw blades to make wood in an assembly machine. Easy. But I'll put one of these at the top here, making the saw blades, and then making wood. And I think if I, so is that, yeah, I can bring it through up here at the top, it should be all right. And I'll put in a splitter here. Yep, that's the correct side. And any saw blades come out here, and go that way. Right, that looks reasonable to me. Let's power it up. At least I would if I had any uh, pylons left. I might need to go on a replenishment run in a minute. Okay, so there's no wood coming around, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, no no mud coming around, which is a bit of a problem. I think I need to put a clarifier on the bottom here, which I used to have, <clears throat> and then I took it away because I realised it was just wasting saline water. But now I actually want the water to be pulled through, so these machines will start generating mud again, like that. This is a slow process, but it is going to make 20 of them when it finishes. We'll see how this goes, then maybe I'll have a look at the, the actual numbers and decide whether this is a bit ridiculous. But I might need an enormous bank of these algae. You've got oh, to make trees. The rest of you have been told. Also. Run out of pipes again. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, they don't pass the water through. That's a shame. Okay, the 20 algae from there didn't last very long. These are presumably not passing the water through either? No. Oh dear, I've made it too small. This isn't going to work. Oops. Right. Where's my construction vehicle? I need to move everything across, like, one square. In order to fit. Nope. Okay, that so yeah, basically I just assumed that the um, those machines would pass the water through like a uh, like the boilers do, because that would be convenient and helpful. But no, no, they don't. So I can't fit the um, the piping in around these machines because they're too small. So if I cut that and paste it, let's do two squares just in case I've miscounted. <laughs> Magic. Now we make these long-handled inserters. And there and there, I guess. And there, that. And now you know what, we can just run pipe down like that. Much easier. Okay, true to what I said earlier, I'm going to just start researching everything. Where are my limiting fact, limiting thing? So, I need more soil production. I need those to not be long-handled, for goodness sake. Like that. Oh, what do these need? Of course they do, these need soil as well. forgot about that. What's the best way to split this? I suppose it's to have this belt the other way around. Conveniently, they're on the correct side of this belt. That's handy. There's no inserter for this one. Why is there no inserter? We still don't have enough mud. Just do one more manually, because I've got because of where I've got the power pole. Yeah, I definitely need more algae. Which I need more iron. Do I have more iron? The seeds can go in somewhere like that. Uh, iron, 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 iron. Yes, lots of iron. Excellent. This composter seems to be keeping up quite nicely. I'm still not producing enough mud. Soil, wherever it is. So let's have another lot of those and two more of them and i think it's time i went and got some more pipes and i'm going to get some from the one down at the bottom as well because i'm getting through so many at the moment i think having a large supply is going to be a good idea oh yes and this is going to need some iron in order to make those uh, saw blades so this should balance itself quite nicely because yes this bit of the belt will fill up with saw blades but then as soon as it does as soon as it gets to here it'll start reusing the ones that are coming round instead of making new ones. Now, do I want to run it up there? Where, where's the first place that I actually use this wood? It's used here for this old belt production facility, but I'm not using this belt production facility really anymore because I'm not using the gray belt. So let's just whack it straight across here, north of the um, science area. Through here, this is going north at this point, a big gap like that. Boosh, that is wood, isn't it? No, it's not wood, it's not wood. That's supposed to be iron. <laughs> This whole area needs pulling up. I'm not using that iron smelting facility anymore at all. Right, there we go. But that whole area is a mess of spaghetti. I'll go in and tidy it up at some point. Okay, how are we doing down here? This is where I presumably will almost immediately find out that there's a better way of doing um, comp algae for compost that I haven't, that I'm about, to, that I'm just in the process of researching. Um, but never mind. So how are we doing? What's the limiting factor? The limiting factor here appears to be these arboretums. The trees are backed up. Okay, let's build some more arboretum. We can build one, and then I'm out of steel. Build three, and <laughs> I'm out of steel. Yeesh. Oh no, I'm out of stone bricks as well now. That's not going to help much. The um, <laughs> This is going to need to come back up for the um, 
tree cutting. Because, uh, yeah, I need a loop like that. Then, I, yeah, I'm going to need to move this whole thing across a bit. Oh, that's a lot of saw blades. <laughs> no, didn't think of that. I'll take the saw blades out of there and put them into the new machine once it's put up. It was a good design at one point, I'm sure. Uh, give me those. No! Oh, fooey. <laughs> this seems rather unnecessary with the saw blades, if I'm being quite honest. Um, let's not do that like that. Let's do that like this and put in a long handle sort of there. And pick up all of these saw blades again. <laughs> and we'll put them back in here. So much junk. We don't need any of this. Okay, that's a bit more sensible. That'll do. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what? What do you not have? Do you not have? You don't have any... Huh? I'm confused. Why does this system not work? How about that? Nope. Why are these not all just the same? So, insert, if I have inserter at the top and pylon at the bottom, they should just work. Insert at the top, pylon at the bottom. There we go. Right, <laughs> now they're all working. At this point, it occurs to me that I can save a load of belt pieces by running that one up, or actually by running that down there and that across there. And I don't need any of this. Rather than trying to run the two of them on the same belt, which is a little bit unnecessary. It was a nice idea, but I suppose I could still do that. If I ran this across here and up here and this one down here. There's a certain ple pleasing symmetry to having it, having them both on the same belt. If I do that, I can whack a splitter here, which will allow me to run another belt off downwards for when I need to expand, if I ever get to. If I do this, then I can extend the system out further, should I feel the need to. Oil burning boiler. I don't think I even want an oil burning boiler. I don't know why I'm bothering to research it. <laughs> How am I doing? Right, the limiting factor is still the arboretums, which, I mean, I have to admit that makes a certain sense because trees do grow fairly slowly. Um, let's see if I can just whack in another. I've got one more that I'm holding in my pocket, so I can whack that in. Let's put it here with a gap so that I can run past it if I need it whenever I need to. How are we doing compared to consumption? It's kind of hard to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cause we, oh yeah, because we are using wood down here. It's getting pulped to turn into um, paper and circuit boards and other sort of shenanigans. Okay, so currently we are not, well at this point we are not producing wood as fast as it's being used. It's not building up a um, backlog of it. However, there's this flood coming through here from where I emptied my inventory and then it's getting down to this sort of steady rate while there's a massive burst and then a gap and then a burst. Oh, uh, she's a bit more solid from there on. So maybe once this starts getting down there it'll be, it'll actually be enough. I guess we'll see. Aha, uh -huh. we do have a steady rate and a bit of a backlog going on now. So that looks like I now need some more of these little systems here, which is good. I've moved it. Oh, I've run out of pylons. Right. Uh, I've got 46 of them in there. Oh. Oh, no, the pylons just aren't on that part of the... Okay, give me them back. <laughs> the pylons are on the other half of the, um, of the build. Okay, we're currently short of compost, but that might be because... We've just I've just extended this belt down quite a long way, so there's suddenly been a load of demand on soil. We'll see if that catches up a bit. Oops. Okay, so where do I get other types of seed from? So it's temperate tree se trees I had. But I need to get temperate tree seeds from a temperate tree seed generator, which is what that is. Ah, I haven't researched temperate tree arboretum yet. That's why I don't have a choice. But would that be any better? That would get me... With soil and water, that would get me bioresin and two trees instead of four trees. Okay, I think this is probably better. I don't know what I'd use bioresin for. I'm sure it's delightfully useful, but mm, what's the problem here? No seeds. The seeds just not getting down this far. No, it looks like they're all getting gobbled up higher up. Okay, so if I want any more tree growing capacity, I need to acquire more temperate trees or other trees, specific magic trees, in order to build more of these seed generators. However, I strongly suspect this is going to be enough wood. In fact, what I might do is upgrade this to red belts, if I've got any. I have. So if I make this red, and of course this, and that, do that, there we go, I can get a full belt of, potentially get a full belt of wood coming out now, I think. No, no, not, not quite because of the um, the saw blades, but in theory I could almost get that. How are we doing for filling that belt up? <laughs> still nothing, still not managing it. And of course filling up a, a yellow belt here wouldn't be all that useful because it's going to get going on grey belts for half its journey anyway, along here. 
Still, using both sides of the belt will definitely help that. Don't I already have pump jacks? Hmm, curious. Of course, the bus is so long that even having upgraded, massively upgraded the wood production at the top, it's going to take quite a long time for it to filter all the way down to the bottom. So I think I'll just leave that now and, and assume that it's good enough. I know, it's probably a pretty dangerous assumption, but never mind. Now see if we can get out of here. Built up a bit too heavily. Uh, let's make a bridge. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> the blue science is starting to um, back up nicely because I'm not using it at the moment. That's good. I'm sure. Whatever. Right. So the iron processing area is over here. Now I need to try and decide whether what I've been looking at is actually worth doing because the numbers don't seem to be all that much in its favour. As I said, I'm seeing four crushed stereotype goes to one and a half iron. No, it goes to two iron ore. Unless maybe I need to mix it with some of the other things, because if I get if I mix stereotite and jeevalite, I can produce a one-to-one -one ratio of iron. So it's a, a bit it's a bit better. Um, where's my where is jeevalite? Not that far away. Uh, I I mean I could run a, a crushed jeevalite belt up to here and mix it in, but on mass it's not going to be that easy to do. I'm going to have to build a whole new area for doing it. I don't know. Okay, I've had a bit of a think about it. I think for now I'm going to not bother redoing this iron production because at the moment I think it's producing it almost as efficiently as it would be if, if I was doing it some other way. And some other way would, would, would produce other side products which I don't really want to deal with right now. The other thing that I'm very short of, let's have a look at this. Yeah, the red circuitry is coming through fast enough but only just. What's, what's limiting this? Production of these things, what the, oh, the transistors is limited by whatever this is producing silicon wafers okay i think my next task is going to be to go down and have a look at the red red circuit production get that up to speed and then have a poke around with the sodium hydroxide production because that's also running far too slowly if i can get through this gap there we go and both of these are things i knew i was going to have to come down and have another look at because i hadn't really optimized them particularly i just slapped a load of stuff down and and hoped that it'd be good enough, and clearly it isn't. Let's sort that out. There we go. I think that's that sorted out. These four are now keeping up easily with these these machines. And down here, it's yeah, it's keeping up. In fact, yes, yes. There's a backlog building up. Excellent. We're producing faster than we we're getting through them. What's the their circuit? But now the red circuit boards are um, limiting. Those machines are running flat out. This is obviously just a slower process. Get some more capacity in there. Yeah, it looks like that belt of wood has now reached, got down <laughs> far enough down here that it's backed up all the way, at least on one side. And the other side is gradually building up. So that's good. That's now up to scratch. I've run out of yellow belts in the assembly machine, in the uh, construction vehicle. I think the next thing I'm going to have to do is go on a sort of resource finding mission and pick up a load more stuff because I'm, I'm running out of absolutely everything. That extra supply has definitely helped. We've now only got uh, one or t one machine that isn't isn't running down here, and a second one that's struggling a little bit. So it's better. That's now backed up more. So I'm going to call that improved, <laughs> and even if it's not quite there yet, I am, however, short of still very very short of the sodium hydroxide. So this is a slightly odd thing because it's being produced here as, a, as effectively as a side effect of producing the uh, chlorine that's going into making whatever the hell this stuff is. Ferric chloride, apparently. Um, that's producing yeah, oxygen and chlorine, but it's not... Oh, it's not getting enough saline water through. That's why it's struggling. Tanks are both happy. They've got in plenty. They're, they're venting any excess off, so we're, we're producing enough of it. We're just not producing enough to keep the... Um, keep the required rate of sodium hydroxide for the blue science up. Um, seems a little bit of a shame to be just producing more for the sake of throwing it away. Uh, like this purified water here as well, that's again a bit, feels like a waste. But I think we're going to need to, um, because I need, the, I need the sodium hydroxide, and from what I remember this is the only way of making it. Turning saline, saline water into chlorine gas and then the that. Or I can get well. I can't. I can't do this. I don't. I don't have any sodium at the moment. Um, do I have a good way to make it? Sodium sulfate. Yeah, for sure. Where do I get salt from? Saline. Okay, maybe then. But I need an electrolyzer. Which means carbon and steel. That's manageable. Um, 
So I could just do it from water, or ideally saline water, but I don't have any of that around here. Okay, let's see if I can get this. I've got slag processing thermal. Okay, that's a fair amount of slightly more advanced research to get that. For now, I guess I'll build another hydro plant and just have some more. At least I would have had enough stone bricks. Yeah, alright, two will do the pattern. Right. And then we hang a clarifier off the bottom of here, like that. No, off the bottom of here, like that. There we go. That's the one I want to clarify. Now this can run constantly, hopefully. Oh yeah, inputs as well, that'd be good. Right, okay, so we're now we're now able, we've now got enough chlorine that we're venting some of it, so we are definitely producing it significantly faster. This is occasionally flickering red, which means I don't have quite enough hydro plants at the moment. But I think that's going to that's going to have tripled the output of the um, sodium hydroxide. So I think I'm going to call that enough because, to be honest, any more of that, more than that, would be a bit, a bit crazy. How are we doing down here? Yes, these red plates are backing up now, so we are producing them fast enough. I think the limiting factor is now simply the number of these assembly machines I've got, um, but they are producing it significantly faster than that it's being consumed. So I'm going to call that good enough. I think we're producing it faster than we can use it up. What more could we? However, I am going to still think about turning water into into sodium hydroxide. So is there any, where do I have saline water being produced? And presumably one of these is saline. Is it this one? Yes. So I could turn this, instead of having a clarifier here, or as, rather as well as having a clarifier here, I could have a dump to, to um, sodium hydroxide and add it to the bus so it just comes down here and somehow squeezes through all of this stuff. It'd have to come down the outside here, I guess. And yeah, join on one of these. And then somewhere down here I'll just feed it feed it across or maybe just bounce this one over to join it over here. That seems manageable. And it was that one wasn't it? Yes, water treatment four. That's a blue science level thing. Um, but only only requires about 30 of them. So that's that's fine. You can do that. But I think that's probably going to be a job for the next episode. I've been playing for it's been an hour and a half and I normally aim for an hour, but I spent a lot of time staring at FNEI and scratching my head. So I think that's probably going to be about the right sort of amount of time. Um Yes, I think that's been a... So, it's sort of been a productive episode. I mean, I've managed to produce the um, the bioprocessing facility up here. So we're now generating wood from, wood, from tree, wood from trees in arboretums instead of wood that's just sort of somehow magicked out of the air as we were doing before. It's a, slightly, it's a longer and more convoluted process, which obviously means it's better and more angel bobby. So we're going to call... Yeah, so we'll call that as a, a good thing, honest gov. Um, and... I don't know why there's a big gap there. Maybe there just happened to be a... Yeah, oh yeah, right. All the, I think all the trees output at about the same time. So there's a flurry of wood, and then it all dies down. Um, <laughs> this is a bit silly, but never mind. As long as we're still producing it faster than it's getting used up. Um, <laughs> which we're not. Yeesh. That's speeding up the um, the red wood the red board production here has seriously increased the amount of wood that's being used. Oh well. One thing I could possibly do, since a lot of the a lot of the wood that's being used up is being turned into cellulose, is there a better recipe for cellulose? Do I mean cellulose? No, I don't. I mean resin? I think that's resin. Yes, resin. Short answer: No, there isn't a better rep uh, um, recipe for resin. I need I need basically need that to come from wood because the other one's hideous. What's that producing? I don't know. Boards of some sort. Okay, won't worry about that. This is going okay. I would like to extend it further, which means I need to find some more of those magic trees. Um, conveniently, if you run them over, they just jump, jump straight into your inventory, so they're not wasted if you hit them. I've seen a few around, and I've sort of driven round them because I didn't have any use for them at the time. Is it those green things? No, that's a puffer nest. Do they, do, they, do they even show up on the map? I've got this sort of vague feeling that they don't, in order to make you go out and sort of search for them. Ah, there's one. Right, so they show up as dark blue blobs on the map like that. So let's go and get that one, since I'm right next to it. Boop. Slightly darker blue. So they look like pylons that are in the wrong place. So there's one. What's that? That's a desert tree. But I think that's... I think I can do the same with that. It's a radar. That's a radar as well. That's one. Yep, there's one. Okay, so there are a few more of them around. Let's get the faster car out and go and have a quick hunt. In fact, I'll do that off camera. So I'm going to go around and grab a couple more of those trees. Maybe add them to the, um, the system up top, because I'm clearly not getting wood fast enough. Um, but with that and that'll be something you'll, you'll see, see build, built up in the next episode. Next episode, I shall start building, uh, producing sodium hydroxide at a better rate uh, because at the moment this is absolutely pathetic, and also it feels really wasteful to be 
venting off all this carbon and oxygen. Seems like useful stuff that I could be doing something something useful with. I'll have another think about iron and decide whether I can be bothered. And maybe I'll even look at LTM. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to come along and watch next time. So I'll see you then.